Hi, beauties. Okay. Had something on my phone. I was like, what? I thought it was my face. Okay, so I already went ahead and did foundation, concealer, my war paint, my setting powder. I'm really, today I'm just going to show y'all how that um, Makeup Shack um, palette, palette, palette works just because last time I didn't really give it like a fair chance. I just, you know, just used it like cualquier cosa. So today I'm going to be using that one to, to do my eyeliner, to my, my eyeshadow, which is this one. Remember this one was $12.99 at the Makeup Shack. Um, it's the Rainforest palette. And from what I used of it that last time, it looked really good. Like, I liked it. It was pigmented and everything. My swatches were horrible. My bad, guys. My bad. But we will. I will be honest with y'all. I'm going to use it for like all of it today and just see how it works out. See see how vomit it really is. I'm going to do a really simple look today. Just just so y'all can see that there's you can use color even if you're in a rush. Um if you like if you're new here, please subscribe. Um join the family. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Um please give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. And let's get started. Okay, so um, I don't know if I should wipe my my stuff off just in case it has a lot of fallout. Maybe I'll just leave it on there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna prime them off camera, but I might as well show y'all what it what what it is that I do. I just put oh maybe that's a little too much. <laughs> it kind of just popped out there. So I'm gonna grab this brush. It's a flat brush. And share some with this eye because that was a little bit too much for just one eye. I'm going to be looking a little bit this way just because my, my mirror is over here. Okay, guys. I'm not ignoring y'all. Once you spread it out. I always go in with my finger when you don't need to. And I think I put just too much on today. Didn't mean to, it just flopped out, guys. Flopped out. The, again, this is the primer that I got from BH Cosmetics. Um, the waterproof eye primer, base poreless, uh, base poreless, <laughs> the Studio Pro. Do y'all see that? I actually got this when I ordered one of my palettes from there. So, but again, if y'all don't have an eye primer, that's fine. You can always use um, your concealer. Oh, messing up my brow. I, I did my brows a little bit too thick today, you guys. Sorry. Just in that mood today. All right. <laughs> Big brows don't care. Thick brows don't care. Okay, so I went ahead and did both my eyes. And see, it leaves it a little a tad bit sticky, so it's good for your for your shadows. Again, this was the palette. It's just a bunch of color, 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 and I'm gonna go really simple today like simple 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 like y'all have no idea how simple I'm going so I'm actually gonna be coming up with this idea as I go I guess I'm nervous because I've never done that with y'all before I always do one eye and then go in with this other one but all right why not guys why not I'm gonna go in with this color right here it looks really white right there but it's uh more like a, like a beigey color. We need to. Okay, sorry guys. Had to move the light a little bit. I wish this palette 
I had a mirror, but I mean, for the price that I got it, I can't complain, right? And actually, I mean, the Jamie Charles one doesn't have a mirror either, and that one was a little bit, that was a little more expensive. But, I mean, the product is good in that one, so can't really complain about that, not having a mirror in there. And then, like, most of the pots come with a mirror anyway, so you can just use one of those. Okay, I'm so nervous. I'm actually going to do just brown. Just brown, guys. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to do something I've been, like, watching, and I'm like, oh, I want to try it so bad. I'm going to go in with this one. With the same, I'm sorry, I was using the Morphe in 434 tap in there knock off the excess 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 right <laughs> el exceso el exceso dicen que todo en exceso es malo ustedes que creen todo en exceso es malo Diría que no, pero pues hasta el amor en exceso es malo, ¿no? Si ¿Sí me salió, ¿si ¿Sí oyeron? Si ¿Sí no estuvieron aquí for my last video, I was talking about whistling. And every time I try to whistle, like anyway, it just didn't come out. So I did, it came out, it came out. Do y'all see how plain this look is going to be? It's just going to be brown. Mommy. It's going to have a hint of color, but... Do y'all remember el que dice que era café y luego nomás aquí abajo era azul? Bueno, este no va a tener azul, pero va, va a tener un poquito de color nomás. Mommy. Un hint. Uh, La verdad, creo que he visto este look, pero no sé en quién. I really think I've seen this look before. Like, that's probably where I got the inspiration to do it. I just don't know, remember on who. I know it was probably on Instagram. I just don't remember who I saw it on, you guys. And so far, do y'all see this? It's the, uh, this palette is working really good. Like, no patching, not a lot, of, not any fallout. Do y'all see that? Si trabajan en círculo es más difícil que les que les caiga aquí abajo, ¿eh? Eso es algo que yo he notado cuando trabajo así, al contrario que cuando trabajo nomás sas, 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 me cae menos polvo. Y me embarro menos aquí adentro también. Pero es una maña que, que tienen que entrar uno porque en veces para andar en la carrera nomás se... se arrastra la brocha. Y es el error de uno en veces. En veces, ¿eh? En veces sí uno le tiene y le atina. Por los que han notado, yo tengo aquí en mi ojo esto. Yo nací con ello. Yo nací poco antes de tiempo y mi la, la carnosidad de tu ojo no se me extendió, sino que se me quedó aquí. Y por eso tengo este ojo un poquito 
más largo que este. O sea, no, no les estoy chafiando y me estoy haciendo por eso. En veces se me ven diferente los, las sombras en los ojos. Pero no. No, no, no. Me lo estoy aplicando igual. <risa> Ahora voy a entrar con este cafecito más oscuro. Y igual, nomás aquí en la esquinita del ojo. Es, se ve un poquito parecido al que me hice la otra vez, pero el otro era ah, anaranjadito. Este es cafecito. ¿Sí ven? Nomás para hacerlo un poquito más intense, you guys. Gotta intensify this just a little bit. It looks a little like my my eyeshadow from last last from Tuesday. Sorry, from last time. And I guess it has a lot of similarity. It's just I used brown this time and this time. And last time I used um like a burnt orange from the other palette. And for this, I'm doing this look because some of y'all are scared to use color. And you have no need to be to be scared. No tengan miedo. Estoy haciendo este porque pues en veces le da miedo a unos usar color. O piensan que se van, no sé. ¿Será que no están en, no está en su en su comfort zone? Pero miren, si les queda mal, para eso hay makeup wipes. Jaboncito y, y agua. O las toallitas que se usan para limpiarse la cara. La verdad. No, no hay que tener miedo para usarlos. Para usar color, no. Para eso sí, no hay que tener miedo. Dejen dentro. Pues si la ayuda. Esta de Bullet, ¿sí la ven? Es la E24 from Morphe E24. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the first brown that I used, the lighter brown. Yeah. I sound like I'm giving birth because... Guys, I've had three kids, and all three of them were, like, out that way. Whew, that is painful. With my two girls, I didn't feel it as bad, because I was, like, had the epidural and stuff. But with my little boy, they broke my water before I got the epidural. So I felt a lot more pain with him. But he also came out a lot faster than my girls. My girls, my first one, I was 12 hours in labor. Second one was 24 hours in labor. And then my little boy was like six hours. And I've been induced with all three of them. So they, I mean, they said, dicen que los dolores cuando te los provocan son más dolorosos que cuando, like, entras naturalmente. Que cuando entras naturalmente en parto. Yo como nomás me han inducido, no, no sabría decirles la verdad, para qué les voy a mentir. Ok, ahora voy a entrar con uno y casi igual que el otro, es que este tiene azulito. Voy a entrar uno casi igual que el otro, también de puntita, ¿Sí ven? ese, y voy a entrar con poquito de este amarillo y poquito de este que tiene brillito, o sea, los dos juntos. Y adivinen que es la única parte donde me queda para ponerme color. Sorry, sorry. Mm, Se ve bien. Pero no les voy a mentir. Yo quería que estuviera un poquito más fuerte. Pero voy a hacer con este lado. Igual. A 
Eso es nomás en la esquinita de adentro del centro del ojo. ¿Sí ven? Pero como yo lo quería un poquito más fuerte, voy a entrar con mi James Charles Palette para que lo rescate. Ahí vengo, espérenme. Con este bebé, con esta hermosura. Ahora salió al... Hicieron restock en este. Ya tiene como dos horas que a lo mejor ya ni hay. Pero si son fuera del país, pues entonces a lo mejor y todavía alcanzan, ¿eh? Yo cuando lo compré... En cuanto se hizo la hora, yo empecé para comprarlo. Pero sin mentirles, esa vez en media hora aquí en Estados Unidos se, se hizo soldado. So, voy a entrar con el... ¿oy? Con el amarillo este. Y ese color se llama... B. B, 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 B. ¿Sí ven? Lo hizo un poquitito más intenso. Que era exactamente lo que quería. Quiero ese color un poquito más intenso que... Que lo normal. Que lo que estaba en la otra. La otra paleta sí me gustó bastante. Trabaja bien con los otros colores. Lo más que ese, estos... El amarillo no estaba tan fuerte como yo lo quería. Como yo lo quería. No tengan miedo de usar color. Guys, guys, color is great. I promise. ¿Sí ven? Nada más se limpia un poquito para que no no descontrole. Ahora imagínense esto. Um, pueden hacer esto con cualquier color. Le pueden poner poquito verde, pues el azul ya lo, ya lo vieron con el café verde, anaranjado el rosita o sea cualquier color que ustedes quieran uh, que le combine muy bien para la otra semana quiero, 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 quiero empezar a usar glitters, compré una paleta también de glitters so, um, he tenido varias de estas que 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 ven que, ven, uh, que haga de estos de glitter so I'm gonna do that I also have a primer a special um, primer for that um, déjenme pongo las pestañas y el poquito de leñador se me hace que ahora sí lo voy a hacer de gatúsela lo voy a hacer hasta acá cómo se dice gatúsela de qué women hasta acá um, dejen a eso y ya regreso Okay, beauty cell. <laughs> This is the final look. I went in with a lipstick from ColourPop. I've had it for a while. I just hardly ever use it. And I put a gloss over it. Um, I went again in with the Um, lashes from Official Meat Lashes. Keep y'all's eyes out, I swear, for these or go add them on Instagram. That's where I got them. One of my friends had ordered them and then I saw them. Um, they posted like on my stories or whatever and on their story and saying that like it was three. Buy three, get they get three free. And I was like, oh, go real quick. So I paid $30, $27 for six boxes of lashes and each one has three so it's what 18 right 18 pairs of lashes for 27 dollars. i don't think that's bad just because like one pair of like these high-end brands is like 25 dollars between 20 to 30 dollars so and then these do the job do you see how they're good i like them i really really like them actually i know i say i like a lot of things I, I just love makeup but these are like ooh, if I didn't like them when my friend ordered them probably wouldn't have ordered them <laughs> but they're good they're good I recommend these um go look for them 
on their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whichever. And they, they, they announced a lot of promotions and stuff like that. And after I received my lashes, they gave me um, $10 off my next purchase. So that's good. Always good. Um, what do y'all think? Let me know if y'all uh, like this look. Uh, and like I said, guys, do not be afraid to use color. Do not be scared to use color. G color, if you end up not liking how it looks, you can take it off. Just work it in a little bit, little by little, until you're like, oh, all right, I'm comfortable, you know? Step a little bit out of your comfort zone, guys. You'll see that that's not even a lot of color, and it just pops, you know what I mean? Okay, guys, so that was it for today. I know this video, um, I didn't do, do a lot of talking. I didn't, you know, do a lot of, um, steps or anything like that it was just a really simple look and i really wanted y'all to get a feel of how this palette works just in case you were thinking about buying it um i, I do recommend it actually i didn't find any patchiness just the yellow wasn't as like bright as i wanted it to be or maybe because i mixed both of the two yellows that it has in there i don't know but my baby james charles he came and saved him save the day my james charles palette love it that that's by far excuse me by far that's my favorite so far there might be another one kind of excited for jeffree stars blue blood blue blood to come out very excited all right guys that was it for today i will see y'all bye beauties